All right, here comes the hot popper. Remember I Need Kamozi song? Remember that one? <laughs> it's no. not really All my right. wheelhouse. <laughs> well, whether you're looking for a snack for yourself or maybe to serve up your next party, this gal has come to the right spot. You've come to the right spot. We've got another shamefully delicious creation just for you here in Virginia this morning. Our super-duper friend of the show, Chef Sean Ye, also known as Shane Rogers, is here with her sausage stuffed jalapeno poppers. Great to see you, Shane. Happy Great New Year. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know. All right, so sausage... Say that five sausage, times. Sausage, sausage, stuffed jalapeno, jalapeno peppers. peppers. It's kind of like your grandma's sausage balls, which I didn't grow up in the South, but neither, you, neither, neither do you. Yeah. But right I discovered them when I moved here is that every buffet, every family party has sausage balls. But I kind of combined that with the jalapeno popper. Mm. Um, you know, we got a couple of football games coming up. Yeah, absolutely. You need something on Saturday and Sunday to serve with the game. What are the ingredients that we need to start? Obviously, it's sausage so and jalapenos. It's so simple. Right? Jalapenos, sausage, some cheese, hot peppers if you want, and... Bisquick. It just doesn't taste right if you don't have the bisquick. With bisquick? I've tried to do it with starting with like flour and you know from scratch. It doesn't taste right. You really? gotta have the bisquick. Okay. What what does this do? It's just for the consistency. It's just a mix. I, it's magical. I don't know. It's <laughs> just Magic take my advice right and here. use the bisquick. Don't buy the store brand. Buy the oh, I thought you were going to say, I'm don't touch that. No, no. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, my goodness. Anyway, this let's is a special box of right? Bisquick. It's very special. My, it's my Bisquick. box Get of it. Bisquick. <laughs> Readily available, I hear, It too. is, totally, absolutely. <laughs> William Sonoma? <laughs> yes, yes, it's very, very expensive. Um, <laughs> Anyway, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay, preheat the oven 400 degrees. Be careful. We're going to split some jalapenos. Mm -hmm. I've got some already done. Yeah. But just take the knife, slide it down. Be careful with these. You know, if you're sensitive, don't touch your eyes. I may have had a little issue last night yeah. when I was splitting really? 47 jalapenos for this little segment. No, it, it's the seeds. It's that the seeds in the pith. Create the that heat. That are heat. Right? It's the seeds in the pith have the heat. Because some people might be turned off when you hear jalapeno, but if you remove that pith and you remove the seeds, it's not so hot. It's, it's going to so mellow out a little bit in the oven. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to pull these out of here. Okay. A little time consuming, but you know. A little you bit. Could, it's all right, a, put some um, music on. Right. Right. Have a, little a beer. Vino, there have a go. beer. You know? I like so it. You, I used, you, you have the beer, I'll have the wine. Right, exactly. Right. <laughs> well, Richmond has some very good beer. They do. Are you kidding me? One of the best. It's like a so beer capital. So clean these out. When you get done with this, you might yeah. want to rinse them. Mm -hmm. I hate pepper seeds. I just do. It's just one of my pet peeves. Anyway. Because of the heat or just you don't want no, to get them No, I don't like them, them around. Yeah, I don't want to. Yes. So anyway, yes, the heat. So uh, are these, up. honestly, we were saying something about the Bisquick, but are mm -hmm. these uh, readily, readily available? available. Okay. Got them at uh, Aldi. Aldi. It was, oh, there was a bag of them. Okay. Um, you know, the bigger the better. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to use a pound of sausage. Pound I'm of using sausage. Italian sausage today. I it, know some sausages have a little bit of a spice, some kick, but this uh, doesn't have much. Mild. And this is the other thing too. Is kind of you know, you use what you like. You could use a breakfast sausage. That's what you know the sausage balls are typically made with. I'm just peeling the case. Take casing. the skin off, right? Taking the peeling. The, you can buy bulk sausage sometimes. I couldn't find it last night, so. But that's fine. It's, it's fine. A, it's just one more step, but that's yeah. all right. But it's, it takes no time at all. You saw that. So then we're going to, and this, um, I'm going to add some uh, crushed red pepper today because I'm using mild Italian sausage. Mm -hmm. About a so teaspoon. So you're adding a little bit of heat back A in. little bit, okay, not too much. Not too much. Um, one cup of Bisquick. Yeah, it's the magic, magic <laughs> it's magical, powder right, right there. And a cup of shredded cheese. What kind do you like? I am using sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar. But once again, it's a place where you can really customize what you like. Mm -hmm. Now, if I were at home, yeah. I'd get in there with my hands and mix this up because that's how it mixes up best. And you have, you have work to do. I, after have, this. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> anyway, so I, through the magic of television, had bought a bowl of pre mixed um, uh, Hence sausage. Hence the 47 yes. peppers last night. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, how long do you need to stir this? I mean, is mix it, it until it comes consistent? together. You're gonna, I mean, it's totally to make it look easy like this. to make it look like that. Okay. So you don't want to see the bisquick, you don't want to nope. see the cheese, you want to see one homo homogeneous mix. Mm -hmm. So then we're just gonna pop some of this, and this is really is hands on. You can't get around it. You can start with, start with the spoon. Do you need to chill the peppers at all to keep them mm -mm. firm at all? Just no, chill slice, them after. If you don't dice. serve them right off, okay. Pop them down in here, kind of get them all. Totally artisan, handmade. Make it like little canoes right here. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. Sausage Fill it kayaks. Good. Okay. A little parchment paper on there. A little part. You don't necessarily need the parchment paper, but I don't like to clean up. So. I love the parchment paper for that right? purpose. Yes. Totally, if you have a silk hat liner. But these are not. I'm not putting it on there because these are going to stick. They're totally not going to stick. Okay. But this is. It's a good mixture of um, 
you know, sausage balls and jalapeno pep poppers. Mm -hmm. And your hands get so, a workout as well. <laughs> you get a workout, mm -hmm. absolutely. And say you're hosting a little NFL mm -hmm. playoff game party. Right. When would you want to make these? That, that morning, I, or do you like to make them maybe the night before, have them sit for a while? Make them the night before, uh -huh. don't bake them. Pop them in the fridge. When you're ready, your guests are 20 minutes out, pop mm. them in the, um, the oven at 400 degrees. They're gonna be great. And then watch your fingers, because they're just gonna Watch your fingers. Go. Yes. <laughs> make sure that everyone is careful. We're gonna pop these into the oven. Okay, 400? 400 degrees. Whoa, those are sizzling right, right? there. We've got a minute left here. So, how long have they been in there for? These have been in here for about 20 minutes. 20. Oh, and I got, I totally amazing. was hoping last night when I made these, yeah. they popped out. You can see that one popped out. So sometimes you need to do a little bit of, I was hoping to have to do a little bit of fixing up. But these look great. I, of course, of course. when I need them to mess up, they don't mess up. Anyway, but these are beautiful. Um, don't let everyone dive in right now. They have been in a 400 degree oven and they're cheesy. <laughs> Like they us. smell amazing. They smell really good, yeah. right? When you said you don't want to see them mess up, what are you messing up? They just they, the, they pop. It kind of comes out. They pop out. Like I pulled them out of the oven last night, and the sausage was over here, and the peppers over here. Oh wow! Then you just put them back together. They, pop. they totally pop. Okay. They did pop. Yeah. They're poppers, right? They're called poppers. I think the I think the peppers kind of get you know expand when they're cooking or whatever. Anyway, and they'll but clear that's the sinuses too. They totally <laughs> standing there, know, that's right? For sure. Right? They do. Totally. All right. But four ingredients. Four ingredients, real easy, but maybe a little time prep. A little bit of time prepping, you know. Use the magic. Right. right here. Use this the biscuit. Is it, magic. We know your we know your secrets there, girl. I don't use a lot of mixes. I don't use mixes if I can get away with it. But and this, quick, this one, it's this is I'm it's telling essential. you, right? Find this tasty recipe on our show website later today at wtvr.com/vtm. Chef Sean, you always a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. All right, stay tuned. We'll be right back.